listen to the punchline of this that I'm about to say. God told me in eternity, our face will have his face shooting through it. Boy, if you and somebody may say, how do you know that? Uh, because the Lord told me, well, for one, scripture says we'll be just like him. But the Lord told me this. He gave me the answer to that. He said, he, he brought up how heavens and the earth will flee from his face. You can die from looking at his face, showing how powerful his face is. And Jesus is the only one that can really stand and, you know, see his face. You know, you have other portions of heaven, you know, but the Bible tells us that we'll see his face. Listen to this next part. How will we see his face? I'm trying not to shout as I say this next part. I want you guys to listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our face will bear his face and we can see his face because the only thing in the universe and outside of the universe that can withstand the face of God is the face of God. <laughs> <laughs> you read the Bible that can withstand staring into the face of God that's on that level is the face of God. So we need the face of God to be able to look into the face of God. And the book of mm. Revelation said that we'll be able to look at God's face. And that's why we're made in his image. Yes. And in it's his gonna, likeness. Mm. Yes. And it's going to be more fruitful in eternity more than man could ever imagine. And, mm. ooh, th I, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to talk about a few more things before we go because I want to get a few more things out. Man, did you want to say anything before I continue? I, I did actually. Um, it's crazy you say that our face will reflect his face because I was literally just talking to my wife yesterday and we were remembering when her and I met yeah. um, an encounter that she had when she met me. Um, that My wife was going through a lot in that season and the Lord used me to minister to her. Mm -hmm. The grace, his grace. Yeah. And I was with her and she couldn't look at my face. And I said, I, 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 I didn't say honey at the time because she yeah. wasn't my honey yet. But I said, Mary Vic, look at me. Same because when it's all said and done, you can always see the change in their countenance. Like if you're in the college version, you can see the demonic progression. And so often I will look at individuals straight in their eye. Look at individuals straight in their eye. Look at individuals straight in their eyes. And I'll tell them, look at me. And if they can't look at me and they start shifting, I have one young lady say, why is it you know, so uncomfortable for me to you know, look at you? And I told her, say, look. These false prophets are using the powers of Satan to hypnotize folks. To stare. You guys are confusing it with the Holy Spirit. As much as you can. I said, Mary Vic, look at me. Because I had a knowing in my spirit that his face was on my face. Yes. Oh. And, oh. and, and, and I told, and I just had a knowing. Like, I didn't really know. I just knew. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, and, because and, you were in his presence. His presence is like, remember, as I said earlier, you just look at his presence and knowledge comes. Oof, come on, bro. And so I told her to look at me because I felt, I, I said, you're going to see grace in my eyes. Like, well, little did I know, she ended up telling me after because she couldn't, she was like this. She like couldn't look. Look at individuals straight in their eye. Look at individuals straight in their eye. Look at individuals straight in their eyes. And I'll tell them, look at me. And if they can't look at me and they start shifting, I have one young lady say, why is it you know, so uncomfortable for me to? But it's really just conscious transmission from one being to another. And beyond just the transmission of the skills, it's the transmission of the energy, the capacity. You just hang around and you just, you kind of just get it. Yeah. It's really, that's what it is. When her and I met, yeah. um, an encounter that she had when she met me, um, that my wife was going through a lot in that season and the Lord used me to minister to her, mm -hmm. the grace, his grace. Yeah. And I was with her and she couldn't look at my face. And I said, I, 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 I didn't say honey at the time because she yeah. wasn't my honey yet. But I said, Mary Vic, look at me. 
I said, Mary Vic, look at me. Because I had a knowing in my spirit that his face was on my face. Yes. Oh. And, oh. And, and, and I told, and I just had a knowing. Like, I didn't really know. I just knew. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, and, because and. You were in his presence. His presence, mm-hmm. as I remember, as I said earlier, you just look at his presence and knowledge comes. Oof, come on, bro. And so I told her to look at me because I felt, I, I said, you're going to see grace in my eyes. Like, well, little did I know, she ended up telling me after because she couldn't, she was like this, she like couldn't look. No, she ended up telling me after because she couldn't, she was like this, she like couldn't look. Uh huh. She tells me later, she couldn't look. When she looked at me for a moment, she saw the face of Jesus over my face. <laughs> and she said it was so bright that she couldn't look. Yeah. And, and and the fact that you just said that, I literally just talked about this with my wife, yeah. I think, if not today, last night. Lord of God. And we remembered that encounter, and you just said that, and I can associate that truth yes. with that encounter. And, and, and so that's crazy, man. That's real. 2 Timothy 4, 3. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. You must read your word. Hosea 4, 1, will have. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. That's why these guys can just jump on here and tell you these sci-fi stories and you believe it. Because they express understanding of the word. The enemy knows the word too. Now I got two big questions. Why hasn't Marcus talked about any of this? The heaven boys, any of this stuff. He's desperate for material. Over there talking about puppets. Trying to get him early here. This man watched God play flag football with babies. And he's the only one talking about it, right? God showed him heaven for what? Anything edifying? Or just to sell a book? My second question is, how does Yeshua look? Like, how does he look? What image of Yeshua was Nelson White referring to when she said she seen Jesus' face in his face? Like, the head of Christ? Salmon head, a.k.a. Dagon. Now, I've broken this down in a previous video. This is not Yeshua, but the enemy. So how do you go from seeing and interacting with evil spirits on a daily basis, will you, to one day seeing Yeshua? And for what? Did he give you any message? Let's break down the head of Christ, Salmon Head, a- a.k.a. Dagon. Also called the Salmon Head, the Salmon Head, right? See, we ain't even got into a full sentence. And I, I, th- let me break this down. Now, if you never heard of this and I told you, let me show you a picture of the Salmon Head. What would you think I was going to show you? A fish head, right? Let's see who has a fish head in the Bible. Oh, Dagon. Now, Dagon was the false god to the Philistines. The Philistines were some people that we fought against, our ancestors. And we lost the Ark of the Covenant, which is like a flag. It was more than that, but to put it plainly, here's what happened when they took our Ark of the Covenant, just to show you how Dagon, a.k.a. Salmon Head, is our enemy. 1 Samuel 5, the Ark and Ashdod and Ekron. After the Philistines have captured the Ark of God, they took it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. They, they, then they carried the Ark into Dagon's temple and sat it beside Dagon. When the people of Ashdod rose early the next day, there was Dagon falling on his face before the Ark of the Lord. They took Dagon and put him back in his place, but the following morning when they rose, there was Dagon falling on his face on the ground before the Ark of the Lord. His head and hands were broken off and were lying on the threshold. Only his body remained. 
This is why to this day, neither the priests of Dagon nor any others who entered Dagon's temple at Ashdod step on the threshold. The Lord hand was heavy on the people of Ashdod and its vicinity. He brought devastation on them and afflicted them with tumors. When the people of Ashdod saw what was happening, they said, the ark of God of Israel must not stay here with us because his hand is heavy on us and on Dagon our God.